Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, Saga's here in Watery talking to the Koskelas brothers about Coffee World. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I'd like to point out real quick that, uh... The sort of insinuation there seemed to be that they had a moose in a petting zoo, and I can't even put into words how bad an idea that is, because moose are really, really big, and really, really dangerous. Uh, boy. I'm not actually sure what time of the year is a moose's rut, but, uh, when the males enter rut, they will just kill you for crossing their path. <laughs> They're not in a good mood that time of year. <laughs> I just, I just thinking to myself of this video I saw once of a moose running at full speed despite the fact that the snow was up to his chest. So there's just this huge plume of snow like he's a fucking bulldozer spraying out behind him as he just runs like it's nothing. These are very powerful animals. Speaking of very powerful things, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says that Cthulhu Awakening is not an immediate end of the world scenario. The protagonist of the actual story, The Call of Cthulhu, rammed him with a steamship, while The Black Island had him straight out nuked, although neither defeat was permanent. Despite being the namesake for the mythos, Cthulhu is in fact a mere servant to the Outer Gods, cosmic-scale entities that exist, think, and behave on scales that drive humans insane. And I guess that is what I've been uh, thinking of the uh, Dark Presence as this entire time. Sorry, I spaced out for a moment there. So... your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in <laughs> Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. I got two out of six. I'd like to see my trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Okay. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, It'll lead you there. Noted. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. It's weird to see him with a modern smartphone, but I guess he would, huh? It's not like this is the moon. Or the dark place. That's a loud Nothing? thing. What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Incidentally, Yako is spelled J-A-A-K-K-O, for those who cannot see that. Flooding did this? The whole road is washed out. I see what they mean about used to be the bridge, yeah. I don't even see the middle segment, it's just gone. Like the water carried it off in that direction somewhere. No way they don't have an answering machine for that many rings. Suomi hiking trail. I mean, they have hiking trails coffee here. World. Need to get across the river. 
Yeah, that's definitely a coffee themed ride. Ugh, they got water over the boards. I thought these were supposed to float. Boy, that looks like an inviting place to walk out into this fucking misty swamp, huh? What do we got here? Oh, this would be a map of water if I hadn't gotten one yet, sure. Aha! I know what this is. This is one of those boxes full of supplies. So they do still exist over here. Not a great idea to leave uh, painkillers in there. I feel like pharmaceuticals over a long term aren't a great thing to put in those boxes, but whatever. It's not like I was going to use them responsibly anyway. Wow, it's barely making any difference at all. Whoa! What was that? Gun out. Flashlight out. Fuck this. Are you telling me everyone at the fucking park is dead or taken or something? Is that why they're not picking up? It's, it's, well, it's not the middle of the day, but it's daylight! Fuck! Oh! That was a throwing axe. FBI, show yourself! Oh, God. It's the fast ones. It's the little fast ones. The skinny guys who could run super fucking fast, like the... Like, for about three seconds in a, at, a, at, a, at a go, they can run like the Flash. <laughs> Off he goes. Yeah, that's definitely taken, all right. But he's not covered in darkness yet. Other than dodging out of the way when you aim at them, their signature move is running behind you and stabbing you. But I don't think they'd ever... Oh, he is taken. He's got the shimmer on him. I'm gonna point the light at him. Split into two identical dudes. Fuck me. Can't get a damn bead on them. Okay, okay, you stay still right there. Fuck, a lot of bullets for one guy. Uh, fuck this shotgun. the guy's body. I'm going to try something. I believe it was recommended to me by, uh... by, uh, Torek Zero Zero. No, no, he is still there. I'm going to have to try that when it's darker. And he's gone, so he was definitely taken. Slapped around. I, I will use one of those uh, painkillers. Or I just have the one on me, I guess. Oh, mm. Kids, don't do that. You will die if you eat that many uh, painkillers at once. Wait, aren't I heading in this direction? I mean, yes, I was chasing monsters, literally. That reminds me, achievement unlocked, stop the monster. Which is for interrupt a taken thrower's relocation attempt. Oh, boy. If 
forgot how low on ammo I was after the fight with uh, Nightingale. Not there. Oh, I see. I still have to go on this wild path over here. Wait, does that mean I'm actually going the right direction? It does. Cool. Okay, they are not the skinny guys I remember. Because they had less health than regular Taken. I guess they're just getting more powerful, huh? It does look like an A. Now that I see it now. You know what I've never seen a game do properly? The jump scare thing from a movie where uh, you're compelled to turn around and you don't see anything and you turn around and the mon the, th the guy or the monster is just standing there. Not, it's like, oh, you didn't notice it and it's in the middle of its attack. It's, no, he's just standing there waiting for you to turn around. Another locked one. The closest to that I ever heard was a Minecraft mod that had what they called, uh, jump scare creepers, I think, where, uh, they'll go up behind you like normal, but they won't detonate until you see them. <laughs> they'll just follow you around right behind you until you realize they're there. Hunting shack. Watery. A generator. That's important. Supplies. It's also important. Hello? All these calendars haven't been updated since February. What's up with that? Oh, it's a trophy of some kind. A lot going on in here. Another one of those pastries. Well, maybe something will happen if I turn on the generator. I don't see a TV or anything. You know, I'm not even convinced that other Alan is the same Alan. I realized today that I really have no idea of knowing whether any of the Alans, except the one I'm in control of when I'm in the dark place, is uh, Alan or Mr. Scratch. Even the one in the dark place on the TV telling him to do things could be Mr. Scratch just setting him up. That's an interesting visual. It pulls the meter up with it. That thermos was not there a moment ago. Now this is a save point. Sure. Ah, so I'm the local girl for the name of this chapter. Fine, yes. Oh, look at that. Now I can read whatever this is. Oh, it's a menu script page! It looked too dirty for that. They're usually weirdly immaculate. Um... Still locked. Okay. Then I should check. Uh, manuscript pages are over here. Funny, normally I'm... Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? Standing right in front of the map and facing the television. Yeah, okay, so I just drop back in wherever I was when I left. There it is Saga in the Watery Woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. Huh. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. 
What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Yeah, what the fuck, Something Alan? darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! I wonder if that's just happened or if I need if it's going to happen. I would explain the weird spin he did as he was throwing. First, he was throwing the one in one hand, then he spun around to build up more momentum, and uh, threw the one in his other hand at me. The gunsmith sawed off shotgun issue. Let me see. Fluid motion increases reload speed. Out of action deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Ready for more? Kill an enemy to restore health. I can't afford any of these. Fine. What? Oh, yes. Let's mention numbers all over this wall. Two, two, three, five, one, one. I'm sorry, that's seven, one. Is that a shooting gallery? There are arrows sticking out of a bunch of shit. There's another cult stash. Locked. Uh, hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. Oh. How many digits for starters? Three. Uh, I see how it works. Only some of them have uh, arrows in them. Two. Five. Seven. Ah, okay. And that one has two arrows, that one has one arrow, and that one has three arrows, so it's five, two, seven. Put them in the order of the uh, increasing arrows. Oh! I kind of didn't think it would actually be here, but no, there's just a straight-up crossbow in here. Looks like it's very modern, as opposed to being made of wood. What is this? If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. <laughs> Greatest hits achievement unlocked. So now I've got a shitload of weaponry and only one arrow. Oh, I see. I take these ones with me. What was that achievement about? Find the crossbow. Okay, yes. I remember hearing once that, uh... In terms of a military technology changing the way war works, the crossbow had such a significant effect that it wouldn't be matched by any military invention for centuries until the creation of the atom bomb. That was how significantly it changed things. I guess I got a stealth weapon now. You know, I was just thinking that, uh... Alan, uh... Only has the one gun over there. I know he gets at least one more. You know, there's a skin for it in the, uh, cosmetics menu. Well, I don't have one, but, you know, there could be one, is what I'm saying. Oh, I should probably put that on the wall. Uh, cult stashes, yes. Stash found at the shooting range near Watery. There was a crossbow inside. Better in my hands than theirs. I did have that thought. Might not belong to me, but I don't want you to have it. I'm really hoping there's a, uh, a 
of roller coaster in that direction. Wait, where the fuck am I? Where am I meant to be going? Oh, okay. I see. You go back out to the path. This is just a side thing. Oh, no, the timer. That's a cliff, not going there. Let's just leave the Jenny going, because apparently we're really inconsiderate that way. Interesting that she took this long to get her gun out. I didn't push any buttons or anything. That away. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we venture down that path, and we, uh, try to find Coffee World without getting murdered on the way there. Knock on wood. Oh boy. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light.